sinking. Whoa, okay. Sup, my name is Charlatan, I have been poisoned, and the only antidote lies within more dank wubs and sick beats. And today I wanna to talk to you about Ape the Audio. If you're unfamiliar with what this is, basically, it started when some glorious neckbeard figured out that all you have to do to get a million views on YouTube Yay. or more is take a popular song, put it through a binaural panner, add a little bit of reverb to it, and then spin it around in your favorite pair of wireless Raycon headphones that you bought because Leon Lush told you it was a good idea. So as you can see, these videos do extremely well on YouTube. 500K, 2.1 million, 4.9 million. Oh my God, 2.8, 56 million. Congratulations. Uh, <clears throat> That's a lot of views. This started around the same time as like, those videos were getting popular, say, where people would take a popular song, put a little bit of reverb on it, and then put it up on YouTube with like a clever title, like Mr. Brightside, but you're taking a dump on the first floor of a dusty Marriott in Dallas. Or Katy Perry's roar, but you're hogtied in the tiger exhibit of the San Francisco Zoo, wrapped in bacon. <laughs> I was seeing like 3D audio at first. It went from 3D to 4D to 8D, and that's the one that really took off. So today I'm just gonna show you really quick how to make your very own 8, 16, 24, 48D audio track. Whatever. All you do is you go into your favorite audio software of choice and you pull up your very favorite song. This can be any song. It could be a popular song. It could be something better. <laughs> Let me throw on the cans. Let's do the thing. Click. Boom. You have a song. It's your favorite song. This song came from your childhood. You and your father listened to this song as you watched the sunset on the back of his Ford pickup truck out in the middle of rural Kansas or wherever you're from. It brings back memories. Okay, so. Next thing you do is you take that track, you just add a binaural panner to it. Some software has these built-in uh, logic, namely, and I'm pretty sure that's the, probably the one they're using the most in these videos. But the one I'm gonna use is just called um, Ambio Orbit. It stands for uh, Amazing, Magnificent, Bombastic E. Oh, okay, so you take the, you take the panner. And you just, you open up your width a little bit in this case, because uh, so, it is a stereo track. And then all you do is you just go in and you automate the, uh, what they call the azu az Apparently it's pronounced azimuth, a tool used for maps or something. But I was not aware of this at the time because I'm not, in fact, a dictionary. And you, you take that little boy, you throw it on some automation, and then you just make it spin in a circle, my dude. Here we go. That's the gist of it. After you have your automation recorded, all you gotta do is just add like a little bit of reverb to it. That's all they do in the videos, man. Like, it works, obviously. Look at those views. I hate the internet. Yeah, so that's a good way to do it. Uh, if you're a little poopy diaper baby, butt muncher, butt munching, poopy diaper baby. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you there's a much easier way. And all you need is a little Bluetooth speaker. Hello, my children. As you can see, I have unlocked the full potential of my 